Today we're going to build a social media app with Jetpack. So I'll try to use as many of these libraries as possible. We'll, we'll be using a lot of them. We'll be, we'll be building a social media app. So a social media app in Android Studio using Kotlin. Let's get started. So I have Android Studio opened up here and let's go to a new project. Basic activity is fine. Let's make sure to call this human nectar and we'll make sure Kotlin is selected, not Java. And then let's use Android X and hit finish. Uh, then I'm going to close the other project that I had opened up. That's uh, if I can get to it. It's not human connector, this other one. And so I'll just wait a second for it to build and I think it's finished. So I'm going to go to open up code style settings and just set this really quickly. Then I'm going to format the code and our social media app. What we'll do is this will be like the main page of our app where we see like posts and videos and photos and stuff. So if we go to design mode, you'll see we just have hello world here. We want this to be a list of posts and videos and photos and stuff. So I'm going to select that and get rid of it. Then let's go to text mode. And the first thing we need to do is actually uh, let's uh, go ahead and close that. And we're going to need a recycler view for this. So let's add a re uh, recycler view from Android X. Again, 0DP, 0DP. Uh, then let's go ahead and get rid of that, make it a self-closing tag. That's all good. Um, so now if we go to preview, you'll see it's just up there in the top left. We want it to be right to right of parent. So that moves it to the right, then left to left of parent. Uh, then bottom to bottom of parent. Uh, then top to top of parent. And this should give us a nice list. So we're basically just constraining to the top, left, right, and bottom. So that should all be good now. Um, so I'm going to turn my volume down just a second so it's not as... It's just a second. Oh, it's that one right there. Make my volume a little bit smaller, a little bit less noise for my Vim keyboard shortcuts. Okay, so we have this. So I think we're done with it. So let's go back to design mode and you'll see there's our list. We need to give it an ID. Did we give it an ID? No, we didn't. So let's uh, give it an ID. Uh, we'll call this um, Posts Recycler Review. This is where all our posts will be from all our friends and family and everybody. And let's open up main activity and let's get rid of a lot of this text because we don't really need that. I'm going to go ahead and save it, import, and, refact and reformat. So we have access to this uh, posts recycler view dot apply. And let's apply some, or let's kind of chain on some attributes. So, lin so we'll do layout manager equals linear layout manager this and we want the main activity one where it's not we're not getting the we're not getting that from apply we're getting it from our parent class there so we have that and this is our recycler view so here we are um, sure enough it works we set our layout manager and by the way even though we're using linear layout manager here um, we can still use constraint layout in our layout so if we look at our layout it says constraint layout that's fine, there's no problem with that. I know there was some comments about that. So now we need adapter, and we'll create a new adapter. We'll call it posts adapter, and there we go. And so now we have that. So I think we're done with this content main. I'll go back to design, and sure enough, let's see if it shows up. We got some problems. Did I mess something up? I think I got it all right. Let's see. Go back to design mode, not sure why it's doing that. What's the error? Can't create, refresh the layout, there we go. Okay, cool, so that works. So we're done with that, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Now we need to create our post adapter. That's where our recycler view is going to live. So let's do this, let's go to new, and then we'll do Kotlin file class. We'll call this post adapter, make sure this is a class. And this needs to extend something. It needs to pull in some code from Android libraries. We'll do recycler view. We'll do a recycler view from Android X dot adapter. And then inside of here, we'll do um, posts adapter dot view holder is what we'll call it. So there we go. This is the basics. Um, let's go ahead and create our view holder. So I'll click there and do option it, alt enter. There we go, we'll do it um, post adapter. We could do it in a separate file if we wanted to, but let's not do that. Let's do this, let's do this. This needs, we'll take in a view and this will extend, and this will extend recycler view. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Let's see, recycler view dot view holder. 
and this will pass in the view, so it will pass it to its parent. So there we go. So now we still have some errors. So let's click on there and do Alt Enter, Implement Methods. Let's select all of those. You can Shift Click or whatever to select all of them. Hit OK, and they're all they'll they'll all be inside of there. Uh, let's do this. Let's give some space there and get rid of some of these to-dos. I can change that in settings if you want. So let's do, just for this, let's do 20 rows. So we'll have 20 posts from friends for starters. And on my view holder, we're not going to do anything with that. Um, the next error, if we hit F2, it'll take us right to the error. So if I click on the bottom and add some spacing there, and then I want to go see where the error is, just hit F2 on your keyboard and it'll take you right to it. So it says, yeah, we need to return something here. Let's do this. Let's do val view equals layout and inflator.from parent dots parent dot context. Uh, then we need to inflate a view. So every single row of text will have its own will have its own layout. Or I said that wrong actually. Each each post from a friend will use for starters just one layout. So we don't have to create 20 layouts for we don't have to create 20 layouts for each of our items. We can just do it all here. Let's do this. Let's do dot from, then we'll do dot inflate, and then r dot layout dot, we'll call this um, post, uh, post row, parent false. So this is still giving us an error. Actually, let's go ahead and do this. Let's, we need to actually return a view holder here because that's what it's expecting us to return a view holder. So let's go down here and return view holder, and then we'll pass in our view from right up there and we don't want that actually. So we'll just go ahead and do that. We could all do it on one line, and I think it might be complaining about that. If I wanted to, I could do Alt Enter. We'll just leave it as it is. I think it's fine right now. So one thing we need to fix right now is this post row. So if I do F2 on my keyboard, it takes us to the error, and it says it can't find that layout. So click on it and do Alt Enter, uh, create new layout file, whatever. And this is gonna be uh, constraint layout. So make sure you select constraint layout and hit OK. And let's just drag in a button, why not? Let's constrain it to top to top of, left to left of. And let's make its text be, I think we can change it this way. We'll call this, um, we'll call this like, cause why not? So there we are, there's our button. This should get rid of the error there and it doesn't. Let's do this, let's do post, let's do post, that's what it's called. I don't know why it's not showing up. We can build it and run it and that should work, but we have a, we definitely have post row right there, so that should work. Let's go to main activity, that fixes that. Let's go ahead and run it in the emulator and see if it'll work. So I'm gonna select a device that I have or an emulator that I have open, a virtual device, and let's wait a couple of seconds and see if this builds. And it does, so there's our like button, but you notice there's a ton of spacing between these. So the reason is, it has to do with this post row here. So if we go here, actually if we go to uh, text, for the parent, what we need to do is we need to set its height to wrap content. So now instead of each row taking up all the way from here to here, it takes up from here to here. So just that smaller section. So if we were to run that again, and go to the emulator, you'll see here are all our like buttons. So we, we, we have like buttons, but we need some more buttons. So let's add that really quickly. I'll add in one, another one. Um, just put it, I don't like using this at all, but let's, you know what, I'll do it my way. So we have a button here, and let's go ahead and format the code. And let's do, let's, let's actually do this. Let's actually add a text view at the top. So we'll do this. We'll do text view, um, 0dp, wrap, um, we'll call this text equals, hey, I had a nice day. I went to the downtown Austin. So here we go. So there's our post now. Um, we need to give this, we need to constrain it. So left to left a parent, right to right a parent, top to top a parent. And I think that's it. But now we see that our text, it's kind of squished, so let's do this. Let's add padding, 16 dp, and that gives us some spacing, but the like button is still on top of our text. So what we can do is get rid of top to top of that line there, and what we can do is do top, to, uh, we need to give it this an ID. So let's give our text view an ID, ID. We'll call this uh, main text, 
text. So that gives it an ID. And then if we come to the bottom, we can do, and for our button here, what we can do is top to bottom of main text, and that puts it below it. So there we are. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this, and this is our first attempt at making this. This will be many, many parts, I hope. So here's all of our posts. And right now it's just one post, but we wanna actually make it where friends can actually come inside of here and like posts and comment on them and share them and all kinds of stuff. So this is gonna be a series that's all inside of Kotlin using constraint layout and as many of the uh, Jetpack libraries as we can, just to use them, why not? We'll use like everything from like Work Manager to uh, probably Room Database. We'll use some other stuff that's not in there like RxJava, or we might use uh, Kotlin Coroutines or what else, Live Data View Model. We'll do all that in, in future lessons. Um, still giving me that error there. I bet if I go to Build, uh, then if I go, or yeah, build, and then rebuild project. I bet that would get rid of that error right there. So this may take a couple of seconds, and it still doesn't. I might need to invalidate and restart, but for, for now, this will work. There's no error, it's working just fine. Um, if, if you wanna, if it's, if that, if you see that error, you can always go to like invalidate caches and restart, but it all works out for me. So I think this is gonna close the video out. We have, first we went inside of our layouts, we went inside of, we went inside of content main and we added a recycler view there. It's just that text there that we added. Uh, then we went inside of main, main activity, we set up a recycler view with our linear layout, and then we set its adapter to use a recycler view, so control click on that. And then this is our recycler view class where we give it a layout and we say repeat 20 times. And for right now, we're not actually gonna make each post different because right now they're all the same. They're, they're hard coded that way inside of post row. But in a future lesson, we'll fix that and actually create different posts and make it so that each post is different. Anyways, I'm gonna stop the video. Um, hope, hopefully I'll see you in the rest of this series. If you wanna connect with me on LinkedIn, please send me a LinkedIn network request. I'll leave a comment I'll leave a link to it in the YouTube description. So hopefully we can connect on LinkedIn and hopefully you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.